All right, so back to this. So let's say you, this gentleman is walking across a dark road, middle of nowhere, and all of a sudden here comes a car or a truck and the lights are really close to him, so they're moving pretty quickly. He freezes. Is that the best idea? No, no. So you don't want to be daring the headlights. What do you do if that car was coming your way? Run, right? And you probably would run a lot faster than you ever recall. Like, I'm like moving like Flojo. Where'd that come from? All right? All of a sudden, you have this speed. But a few other things happen. What happens to your heart? Braces. What happens to your breathing? Labor. What happens to your muscles? Tense. I mean, you're not like this, floppy, and let me get across the street, right? You're, you're tense. So reasons why this happens. Well, there are chemicals in your brain, neurotransmitters, we call them. And they're like little soldiers. We have a problem. We're going to go to the site and attack it right away to get ready for the fight or the flight. So your muscles will tense. And then what happens to your eyes? Remember my little girl with her blue eyes. The pupils would dilate, right? Your pupils dilate. Why, why does that happen? You want to let in, right? The light. You want to be able to see what's going on. You let in information. What happens to your ears? They get hypersensitive. So let's think about we're back on this road, and you made it safely. You got across the street, and out of nowhere, someone taps you on your shoulder. Oh, geez. If it were me, they're probably getting hit, and I have to apologize later, right? Ah, right? So think about our little kitties in the classroom. So is it a behavior, as we like to call behavior, or is it real that the lights could be hurt in our eyes? Is it real that someone's pitch of their voice could be heard in their ears? And the teacher or the parent or the therapist giving them a nice gentle touch on their shoulder could actually set them off when it wasn't intentional. Yes. And oftentimes we call these things a behavior in a negative light because the child then hits you or pushes you away. Or they try to elope and get out of that situation that's causing them this stress or this discomfort because it's real. We just talked about how it could be real in us. We've all experienced it. So imagine if you are in fight flight all the time, constantly. Some may kind of relate to it if you're a really anxious or nervous person. You're not in fight flight all the time, but you can get there pretty easily. And you kind of operate in that way. And so it's very important for us to be aware of this because our kiddos that are in that sympathetic state, we need to help them regulate by tapping into the parasympathetic nervous system.